In this video, you'll learn how to determine the number of subatomic particles in polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions are ions which consist of multiple atoms, and they will have a charge. Most of the polyatomic ions you'll learn about have negative charges. However, there is a polyatomic ion that has a positive charge. So we'll look at an example of each of these. Uh, so let's look at an example of a polyatomic ion. I'm going to choose the polyatomic ion that has the formula NO2. This is called the nitrite ion. It has a minus one charge. This is called nitrite. Now, uh, in order to figure out the number of subatomic particles, we need to do analysis of each element which is present in this compound, uh, this particle, I should say. We have nitrogen. and we have oxygen. The nitrogen values uh, are all going to be de determined by having just one atom of nitrogen. The oxygen values will be determined by having two atoms of oxygen. That's indicated by the subscript that follows the oxygen right here. So we want to look up nitrogen on the periodic table. We find that its atomic number is seven. This tells me that nitrogen has seven protons. This also means that nitrogen will have seven electrons. Finally, I need to determine the mass number. This is the average atomic mass rounded to the nearest whole number. That's 14, so I know that nitrogen atoms have seven neutrons. Again, I want everybody to remember that protons plus neutrons gives you the mass for your particle. Now let's evaluate oxygen next. A single oxygen atom is going to have eight protons because its atomic number is eight. That means it will also have eight electrons. And finally, because the mass number is 16, there will be eight neutrons. Now, all of these values are going to need to be multiplied by two because there are two atoms of oxygen in the nitrite ion. So we need to double our values here. This will mean that we have 16 protons, 16 neutrons, and 16 electrons. So my total for the ion is going to be 16 plus 7 to give 23 protons. The number of neutrons gives the same result. Now, here's a tricky thing with the number of electrons. 7 plus 16 gives 23, but this ion has a negative charge. So I need to have 23 electrons plus one more electron to give that charge. So the total number of electrons will work out to be 24 for this polyatomic ion. The other ion that we'll take a look at is the ammonium ion. This is NH4. It has a positive one charge. This is ammonium. This contains one atom of nitrogen and four atoms of hydrogen. Nitrogen, we've already discussed, has seven protons, seven neutrons, seven electrons. Hydrogen atoms, this is all going to be multiplied by four, have one proton, zero neutrons, and one electron. So we're going to wind up with four protons, four electrons for the hydrogen atoms in ammonium. So our total number of subatomic particles of each type will have seven protons plus four protons to get a total of 11 protons. The number of neutrons will be contributed only by the nitrogen. That will be seven neutrons. Finally, the number of electrons. Seven plus four is 11 electrons, but I need to subtract one electron in order to determine the total number of electrons to give me the charge. So that will work out to be a total of 10 electrons. Determining the number of electrons is the trickiest part of this. Remember that adding protons plus electrons should total the charge. So here we have 23, sorry, not that, 23 protons plus 24 electrons 
positive 23, negative 24 gives a total charge of minus 1. Here, for the ammonium ion, plus 11 from the protons, minus 10 from the electrons gives that total charge of plus 1 for the ammonium ion.